No, uh, Oculus Repair, unfortunately. How long have you been training for? Usually it's, um, anywhere from four to eight weeks, you know, but, um, this time this is, what, week 12? Yeah, I think week 12. Are you nervous? Am I nervous? <laughs> Stanley Brutuski is many things. A barista, an amateur footballer. See how far that went? A Ravenclaw. For the past three months, I followed Stanley as he trains to do the impossible. Do I think he can do it? No. Uh, the previous record is ten and a half days. Mr. Bertuski's attempting to do it in seven. Put it, put it this way, put it this way. I think Buckbeak had a better chance of standing a fair trial than Mr. Bertuski does of finishing the books in seven days. At precisely nine o'clock, the Muggle Reading Challenge will commence. Each page must be read in full. We will start with Joanne Rowling's first work, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I will be notified at the completion of each chapter, as well as the completion of each book. Mr. Bertuski is permitted bathroom breaks, as well as meal breaks. You may continue to read during both. I can't. And we start in five, four, three, two, one. What you need to understand is, this isn't even a possible task. There are 1,084,170 words in the entire series. That's not even including chapter titles. What people don't understand is that reading Harry Potter is as mental as it is physical. You know, you start losing your mind, you start getting lost in the book, you get lost in this enchanted world. Door stays open, Mr. Bertuski. Do I think he's gonna do it? Maybe. I've seen better men than him fail. I just don't really like the guy. He keeps calling me the M-word. Like, that's, that's just not the time or place for that. Done. Second book is complete. Time is 26 hours, 32 minutes, and 15 seconds. Wow. So we just finished the second book, The Chamber of Secrets. So far he's on pace, but it's going to be a close one. The current record holder is actually a Miss Valentina Gonzalez of Argentina. She set the record when she was only nine years old. Of course, we found out later she had been taking performance-enhancing supplements. Like Ritalin or Adderall? Oh no. Crystal methamphetamines. Can you, hey, can you stop it? Yeah. Yeah. The guy with the fire, that's when you really start going uphill. This must be how Ginny felt during the Battle of Hogwarts. It's roughly the size of the previous two books combined. It's Mount Everest. What about Order of the Phoenix? Isn't it even longer than the Goblet of Fire? The Order? That's another Everest. Uh, Half-Blood Prince Deathly Hallows both Everest as well. So, imagine trying to climb Mount Everest four times in a week. Does that sound possible to you? I don't think so. We're just starting to move on the page. I'm starting to time real fucking diary out there. It, it can't be done. It just, it cannot be done. Who the hell does this guy think he is? Hermione Jean Granger? For Harry's sake. Ugh. Turn the page. Come on, man, get together. Can someone get us some Mountain Dew? No shame in giving up, kid. You wouldn't be the first one. Shut up, Gilly, you f***ing mudblood. What's your problem, jackass? Get back, get back. Get back. He's tired, all right? Are you feeling any better? Starting to, you know. Well, after the challenge, I uh, actually ended up in the hospital for a couple of days. Yeah, the uh, doctor said I was pretty lucky to uh, save my sight, actually, so. Was it worth it? Was it worth it? Of course. You would have traded your sight for the record? In a heartbeat, you know, but uh, fortunately, I didn't have to. At approximately 8.47 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Stanley Harold Bertuski finished the seventh and final book in the Harry Potter series. He's the first to accomplish this feat in less than a week. He currently holds the record. Woo! <laughs> yeah! 
Stanley currently holds the record for the Muggle Challenge. Potter enthusiasts from around the world have joined together to celebrate his accomplishments. However, some still doubt the record's authenticity. There's just no way for us to really know that he actually read the words on the pages, you know what I mean? We, we, we can't follow his eyes line by line. You could be faking it the entire time. Look at me, watch this, watch this. I just read the Da Vinci Code, done. Girl with the dragon tattoo, done. You see what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying though?